going on YouTube? Welcome back to this brand new episode of Restorations with Vic. Today, we are gonna be restoring these Air Jordan 4s, Air Jordan Mars 4s, I should say. Air Jordan 4s Mars, that doesn't make any sense. Anyways, it's feel like it's, I feel like it's been forever since I've done a restoration on a pair of Air Jordans, so I am pretty excited for today. As you can see, these shoes are cooked. I bought these on eBay months ago. I don't even remember how much I paid for them, but they're trash. As you can see, they need a massive, massive deep clean all around, a fresh metal repaint, remove the creasing on the toe box, remove the yellowing off the soles, touch up the white leather, and some other details all around the shoe. It's gonna be a lengthy restoration, so let's get to it. Alrighty guys, as always, the first thing we're gonna do to get started with this restoration is remove these dirty shoelaces and insert our adjustable rejuvenator shoe tree to size. All right, moving on. For this cleaning, we're gonna be using Rejuvenator's three brush, four ounce kit, and of course, our collapsible bowl. Usually for my restorations, I like to use our laundry kit and put the shoe inside, a wash, inside the washing machine. But in this case, I have a feeling they might get damaged in the washing machine, and here's why. On the back tab, there is a little hairline on the gel man. I have a feeling if I put them in the washing machine, that hairline is gonna get even bigger and the rest of the tab is gonna have a huge crack. It's just gonna cause more work and it's gonna damage the shoe. Also, the wings might break off. The shoe is from 2006, making it 12 years old now. Um, these shoes are in delicate condition. If there wasn't a hairline crack, I would have probably put them in the washing machine. But in this case, we're gonna stick with a three brush, four ounce kit. All right, now let's pop this bad boy open. Grab our rejuvenator solution. Put this to the side. Put the bowl over here. Put the solution over here. Show off the branding. Pop it open, squirt some squirts of our solution, and close it. All right, solution in the bowl. Let's bring the box back over here. The first brush we're gonna be using is our stiff, hard bristle brush to give these soles a good cleaning. Alright guys, that's as clean as a uh, Alright guys, that's as clean as these soles are gonna get. I went in deep and got all the grime out the grooves. These look a lot better than what they look like. They're still pretty trash. There's still a lot of yellowing on the gray areas of the rubber, but as soon as they're clean and dried, we'll go in and remove all that yellowing. So now let's move on to the uppers. For the uppers, we're gonna be using the all-purpose brush. All done with the all-purpose brush. Now let's move on to the last brush, which is our soft bristle brush. We're gonna be using this brush to clean up the fabric patches on the tongue and the sock liner as well. Let's do it. Who's paying for that? All right guys, shoes are fully cleaned up. What we do next is go to the bathroom, rinse the shoe out, and let them dry. Thank you, sink. All right guys, shoes are fresh out the washing machine. I can already tell right off the bat the shoes look a lot better. Check out the patch. As you can see, the brown dinginess on it, completely gone, back to white. Same with the stitching all around the leather, back to white. Overall, the shoe looks good, they smell great, except for one thing. As I predicted, the wing broke off. I did keep a close eye on it, but not close enough because the thing still broke off. When I took the shoe out the washing machine, this thing was just hanging out. Um, luckily, it's not a big issue, I can always glue this back. What would have been worse if the tag would have completely broke off or this little piece would have cracked off, that would have sucked, but this is fixable. We'll fix it later on. For now, we're gonna move on to the next step, which are the soles. 
We're gonna be using Salon Care 40, Saram Wrap, and my indoor setup to remove the yellowing. Let's do it. Can't see. All right, shoes are taped up. The reason why I'm gonna be using that easy spray and not acetone is because these shoes are from 2006, which makes them a little older, a good 12 years now. Um, there is a good chance nothing would happen if I use acetone, but I don't wanna risk it since I did damage the shoe enough already. So we're gonna play it safe and just use that easy spray. All right, so the way that easy spray works is you wanna use a paintbrush. Dip it in with that tea spray, apply heavy coats on the midsole, let it sit for about 30 seconds. Using a scour pad, wipe it off, repeat the process till all the paint's gone. All right, good to go. Now let's add a quick layer of our bar cement into the area. We're gonna let seven minutes pass by, then we're gonna clamp it together. Seven minutes are up, time to clamp. All right, now let's repeat the exact same process we did on this section, now on this piece, and on the inside piece. That one was pretty messy. All you gotta do though is wipe off the glue and you're good to go. Vic, is having your tongue out important to good form or is that just a ad yeah. thing? Or? Yeah, have you never seen Michael Jordan dunk? Okay, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. All right, I think I see a little tongue there. Yeah, some tongue action. All right guys, all three parts are fully glued. Came out perfect. We'll do a stress test later. The glue is still kind of curing. But for now, we're gonna move on to the next step, which is back to the midsoles. First thing we're gonna do is tape off the uppers and soles this time so we can lay down some paint. Shoes are fully taped up. Took a solid 20 minutes. Now let's lay down some paint. The first color we're gonna lay down is some Angelus white paint. That's gonna go on the bottom portion of the midsole. I'm gonna paint the entire midsole the white. Once the, uh, sorry, once the white's fully laid down, I'm gonna tape it up and lay down the black on the upper piece of the midsole. Let's do it. You know, Vic, it, it takes a big guy to apologize when he makes a mistake. I just wanna say thank you for apologizing. All right, whites down, nice and solid, no brush strokes as always. This took a solid eight or nine coats. I wasn't really counting, but that's my guesstimate. Now onto the next step, which is taping off the white paint so we can lay down some black paint using an angler brush as well. How cold is it in here if the shoe needs nine coats? That's what I gotta deal with every single day, dudes. Ready? All you need is one strip of tape. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you create a perfect line. One piece of tape. All right, let's lay down some black. Black. Black hair, black mustache, black shirt, black paint. It's a lot of black. I know. Dress for your funeral. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, metal repaint is fully complete. It came out perfect, no brush strokes. Um, on the metal itself, though, there is some slight damages um, that I didn't see before I applied the paint. You can see them on this piece and on this side a little bit. I just think it's from where the metals are a little bit brittle, the whole shoe's brittle. Um, that leads you to the next thing, which is this broken tab right here. As I was removing the tape and I was messing with the shoe, um, this little piece right here cracked off like a cracker. Super brittle. Um, I'm gonna re-glue it, but I'm glad these mistakes happened to me um, and not you guys. Well, it might happen to you guys, but learn from my mistakes because the chances are if you're doing this restoration at home, you're working on your shoes or even worse, somebody else's shoes and you don't want to damage them. So let's make sure these mistakes keep happening to me and not you guys and learn from them. Let's move on to the next step, which are the uppers. Mm. Just kind of like a uh, shoe sensei, you know? Shoe sensei? Just kind of watching over everyone. <laughs> All right, so for these uppers, as you can see on the toe box right here, there it is pretty scuffed up, it's scratched up, it's deep in the leather. So what we're gonna use is a 320 grit sand, uh, sand sponge. I was gonna say sandpaper, sand sponge. Lightly, we're gonna go over it on the toe box, mainly just that area. There is some other areas all around the shoes, but it's not as bad. So we're just gonna scrub in a circular motion, not too rough. All right, that's as smooth as that area is gonna get. The next step we're gonna do is use some acetone and cotton balls to go over that area, then we can repaint. All right, ready for paint. Using an angler brush and some flat white paint, we're gonna go over that area a few times to cover up that big old scuff. All right guys, toe box is complete, looks perfect, nice and smooth. On to the next step, which is fixing mistakes I did during the video. So the first thing we're gonna glue is this tab. For this tab, we're gonna be using bar cement. We're gonna be taping around it first, laying down a thin layer on both the wing and the shoe. Wait seven minutes, then put them together. All right, let's clip. All right, this wing's glued down perfectly, nice and even. Uh, I'm not gonna pull on it since the glue is still wet, but we're gonna move on to the next piece. Um, for this one, we're not gonna be using bar cement, we're gonna be using some super glue and a toothpick. Real easy, we'll apply it on both pieces, um, clamp them, and it'll dry right away. Good as new. All right, all done gluing. Last step we gotta do before we lace the shoe up is quickly go outside, spray them with some Krylon, matte finish. Right, YouTube, that is gonna bring us to an end on this restoration on these Air Jordan 4's Mars from 2006. These shoes turned out overall great considering how beat they were. They were in a really, really cooked condition. Um, it had a lot of permanent damage. For one, the netting. The netting's still yellow on the shoe, making the shoe look a little old. Um, there's not anything I could do about it unless I went in, cut out the, the, the netting, repainted it, or used Salon Care 40, but Salon Care 40 doesn't work. Nothing will happen, so we just had to leave them as is. Um, you can't tell too much, but it is what it is. The next part that was wrong with the shoe was the crack in the tab. When I put them in the washing machine, um, the crack got even bigger, and it doesn't help that I had the shoe tree in, putting pressure on the back tab, making it split even more. The wing broke off during the washing machine process. Even after the washing machine, even after the shoes were fully dried and I was working on the midsole, this piece broke off. The shoe in general was just pretty brittle overall. The midsoles held up overall good when I was stripping them, but there is some damage. Um, like I said, they were just in terrible, terrible condition. But overall, I'm happy how they turned out. They look good, way better than what they used to look like. 
This shoe has a lot of creasing. The midsoles are really beat, painting, uh, paint chipping all around. Um, the soles are really, really, really bad. If you guys remember in the beginning of the video when I was cleaning the soles using the stiff bristle brush, nothing came off. That's just from years, years, and years worth of wear and tear. Thankfully though, our brass bristle, brass bristle, our brass bristle worked perfectly, got rid of all that grime. Um, the discoloration is just from age. While we're in the topic of cleaning, I did use Reshuminator's three brush four ounce kit to clean the shoe. Overall, they turned out nice, but when they fully dried, the patches on the tongue were still a little bit dingy. It still had a slight odor in the shoe. So what I went ahead and did was put the shoe inside our sneaker laundry bag, put them in the washing machine, turned out fantastic. The toe box has regained its shape, got rid of the creasing, um, the odor went away, smells delicious now. The patches back to almost brand new white. The shoe is still pretty worn, um, but overall they turned out great but the wing did break off. Thankfully though, I was able to fix it. Um, everything looks good. This piece did break off, but that was later on in the restoration. That was in the washing machine that did it. Once the cleaning was fully done, I moved on to doing re-glues all around the shoe. There was a big old gap on this side of the shoe as well on this side. Um, it was really easy to re-glue. Just use some bar cement, taped it up, laid it down, got rid of the old glue. Super easy, glued, re-glued nice and flush. Um, this shoe is ready to be worn. After the re-glue, I moved on to the midsole repaint. That was super easy. Removed the old uh, paint using Dazzy spray, taped up the shoe, laid down some fresh paint. Overall, came out perfect. Remember, use one big strip, uh, one big strip, <laughs> one big strip of tape. That's what I was trying to say. One big strip of tape is how you achieve a perfect line. Um, if you use multiple pieces, what happens is the line becomes jagged. If you put one piece right here, another piece right there, and another one right there, you're not gonna have a perfect line and you risk paint leakage and a choppy line. So use one piece of tape. Once the repaint was fully done, touched up the uppers, use a sandpaper, uh, a sanding block actually, that's the second time I make that mistake. Use a sanding block on the toe box, smoothed it out, use acetone, repainted it, sprayed it with matte finish, laced them up, and that was it. Thanks for watching this video guys. Make sure to head over to Reshuminator.com to purchase our products. Subscribe and like this video. It helps our channel grow. Thanks for watching.